This video is brought to you by the book In Flight Emergencies, a step-by-step -step guide to handling the unexpected. Inside the book, Jason shares his stories and dozens of others in addition to video from actual emergencies. Visit InFlightEmergencies.com to learn more and grab your copy. Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and welcome into day 22 now of our 31 day to safer pilot challenge where today we're going to be talking about an engine fire on start and the two scenarios we're going to look at is an, uh, if the engine starts and if the engine does not start. Now an engine fire on startup can usually be caused uh, <laughs> Uh, most of them tend to happen in the winter because it's cold out. We're really priming that engine. We're pumping a ton of fuel in there. Uh, so typically, most of your engine fires on start happen in the winter. Now, that doesn't mean you're immune from them in the summer. They can still happen at any time. But typically, uh, you really want to stay on alert for them in the winter. So the two scenarios, the engine either starts or the engine does not start. So if the engine does start, and before I show you that slide, let me say one thing real quick consult your checklist with this. I am just giving you a very basic, hey, these are things you need to know kind of things. Your checklist will be much more specific with that. So do uh, take a look at that checklist and try to commit some of those memory items uh, to the brain there. All right, so if the engine starts, you want to run the engine up, typically a high RPM setting. Um, the goal is you want to suck those flames back down into the engine itself and try to extinguish it. Um, usually let that happen for one to two minutes um, and then evacuate and extinguish. Okay, and part of that evacuation process, and again, your checklist will spell this out for you, you know, mixture to idle, fuel selector valve uh, to the off position, you know, and obviously know where that fire extinguisher is at on your ramp or uh, on uh, in your hangar there. Now what if the engine does not start? If the engine does not start, continue cranking. You want to keep cranking again to try to suck those flames back in. Someone once asked me, you know, well won't that, uh, if I keep cranking for one to two minutes, won't that ruin my starter? Well, you know, I'll be the first to tell you, if your engine is on fire, the starter is the least of your worries at that point. There are a lot more serious internal problems going on um, if you have an engine fire on startup. So don't worry so much about the starter. Continue cranking one to two minutes. If that doesn't work, uh, evacuate and extinguish. And again, I'm pretty sure your checklist is going to say something to the extent of, uh, you know, mixture to idle cutoff and fuel selector valve to the off position. So... That's what I have for you guys for engine fire on start. Again, one of those commonly overlooked checklists. So take some time and run through it. What I'd love if you guys could, in the comment box below this video, share your engine fire on start checklist and what kind of aircraft you're flying so we can kind of create a cool uh, running tally and, and share some great ideas uh, just to create... Uh, a community now of safer pilots. So that's all I have for you guys today. Chat with you more tomorrow. And most importantly, guys, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.